YouTube, it's Carrier Sidekick, and today I have a little bit different of a video for you guys. Today I am going to show you a farming method in Destiny that my friend GI Overdrive showed me. So no, I did not come up with this farming method myself, but I think it is a pretty decent route to run. Typically, I, along with everyone else, run the exclusion zone to farm Glimmer, but with this route you can get more Glimmer in a shorter run. This run only takes around a minute or two to complete, but it does come with some drawbacks. First off, you can solo this run, but it is much easier and faster with two people. Now, in my opinion, Glimmer farming is, is extremely boring in the first place, so grab a buddy and hit up party chat while you run the farm route. And two, it does require a checkpoint on the Vault of Glass. So if you do want to do this farming run, to do the farming run, you will need a Gatekeeper checkpoint on Vault of Glass. We are doing hard mode for better drops, but you can do it on normal if you would like. You will want to pop a blue polyphage as soon as you spawn in so you receive more glimmer from the Vex enemies. You will also receive glimmer from your friends' kills as well. Try to stick close to them so you can guarantee that you will get their glimmer, but you should get their glimmer as long as you're in a pretty close proximity to them. So there are eight majors on the right and there are eight majors on the left. You will want to equip a shotgun, rocket launcher, or whatever suits you best for fast kills and take out the eight majors on the right. At this time, one or both of you should be supered, and then you will want to super the next group of four majors and let the other player use your orbs to super the last group of four majors. Then you can use their orbs and you will be supered at the beginning of the run and you can choose when and what group of four majors to kill. This is why it's particularly useful to have two players for this run because you can use each other's orbs and be supered right from the beginning. So you can use your super probably around twice for each run. Then after you complete the run, you obviously just want to jump off the edge so you can start your run again. Any class that can create eight orbs will work for this, but two gunslingers works particularly well because you can shoot the enemies from a distance rather than having to be a striker titan or a sunslinger and kind of get up in their face and risk not making any orbs. Two gunslingers works really well for this because you're almost always guaranteed to make eight orbs. All you have to do is kill two of the hobgoblins and you're guaranteed eight orbs. If you wear the symbiote helmet, you are guaranteed four shots. So as long as you hit half of them, then you're guaranteed eight orbs for your other player. Each run should give you around 650 glimmer along with engrams, both green and blue, more blue polyphage and axiomatic beads. After around 45 minutes of farming, I and my friend both had around 35 both blue polyphage and axiomatic beads. Then, Axiomatic Beads can be turned into the Cryptarch for 200 Glimmer each. You will most likely have more beads than you can use, so just put them in your vault and save them for later. If you run this run for around 30 to 45 minutes, you almost are guaranteed to max out your Glimmer. So run it till you maybe have around 20,000, and then turn in all your Axiomatic Beads, and then you should definitely be maxed out on Glimmer. And if you have too many, then just like I said, just put them in your vault and you should be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked the route. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys later.